Hello, my name is Peter Osborne and I'm the um, founder and uh, managing director of Osborne Publishing. We conceive and think up and then make all our books, or very nearly all our books, here in the house. One of the other things that I'm particularly proud of is that we are hyper-international. We are um, published uh, under our own name in six European languages, to which we're soon going to add Osborne Korea. And we've had translations done in over a hundred different languages by other publishers all over the world. Osborne Publishing is really a kind of a family. People stay here for a very long time. They seem to love, just as I do, the business of making new Osborne books. And I don't think it is only me who loves working here, but it is outrageously good fun doing what I do. Anyway, we'd like to take you around the company a bit and show you some of these people, we assume, having a great deal of fun making Osborne books. This is Mari, uh, an expert on everything to do with reading uh, and basically educational expert. This is my favourite, favourite ever Usborne book. The first book we published called the Usborne Book of Spycraft and this character was known as Black Hat Spy and he's still alive. This distinguished lady here is uh, Leslie uh, who apart from other things like she makes whole books um, also is the voice that we used for um, recordings that go with our books on like, the internet. So here she is at it Goat rows his boat around the moat. He sits and gazes at his... Here are Jenny and Fiona testing our new uh, height chart. They're not quite sure they're tall enough, but they're growing. <laughs> Here we have Hannah and Mary, two very key designers, um, having, I hope, some fun Make testing a testing a, an origami tear-off kit that we're making that we're very excited about. Uh, Jenny here is working on a new series of pop-up books for very young children. Jenny is a professional paper engineer, first we've ever had, and we're very proud. Okay. Oh, look at that stuff on the screen. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Look at that. It's gorgeous. The sense of colour that our people can inject into books is just better than everybody else. <laughs> Though we say it ourselves. So uh, this is our doctor, Abigail Wheatley. Uh, incidentally did her doctor, uh, doctor work on uh, medieval castles, which is highly relevant to making cakes, which she's doing here. Oh, I like it. This is uh, Fiona, one of our editors here. And she's actually written so many best-selling books for us that I think she's the sixth best-selling children's author in the country, the famous Fiona Wood. One of the curious things about this company is that we generate all new ideas for books ourselves in-house in a meeting like this or uh, often very much larger meeting than this. And here we're discussing, um, shall we do a new book about space? That seems to be a subject that, that is a bottomless demand for, and we're just sending up an Englishman into space for the first time later this year, so it's going to make it particularly topical. And this is uh, Jenny Tyler, who is the uh, publishing director of this company and is responsible for all the creative output. That means the writers and the designers and the artists of this company. I've worked with her, believe it or not, for 41 years. Not quite. Uh, well, 40, 40 and a half, and a half. years, which is amazing. Um, we're in the, um, almost the heart of our overseas operation here. This is Jilly. Jilly, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how you conduct this incredible miracle of well, masses of different languages. <laughs> the answer is with an awful lot of help from everybody who sits around me here. Lots of foreigners. Lots of foreigners. Yeah. No, we, we are, deeply, deeply into foreign languages. Well, I'm incredibly proud of employing lots of people who speak lots and lots of languages, and that's gonna grow and grow and grow in the future.